Hello, Collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final, honey. I don't know what's going on this morning. Someone is doing some type of ritual behind the scene. They want people out here in a chaotic energy. Because I sat down here, had to say my prayer two, three times before I can even start the video. So I said, you know what, let me just start over saying things that I don't usually say in there. Literally, I was saying my prayer and it said whatever the family has stolen from you. So there's a family out here that has stolen something from someone um, by collaborating, there may have been some type of deed, some type of will that was ordered at for something to be stolen from you. Um, and it will be balanced out. There's some type of collaboration, some type of illusion going on when it comes to your resources, your options, your offers, and things like that, your creativity. There's some type of energy harvesting or some type of spell work being done behind the scenes to temper with someone's energy. You have a, uh, there could be a high priestess out here working with, uh, like a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo, just someone, uh, to temper with your downloads. They don't want you receiving your, uh, communications from the spirit realm. There's some type of manipulation going on. It's like they want you to be confused so that you can't see them when they're trying to steal something from you, trying to sneak you, do something from you, uh, do something for, to you take something from you i don't know what is going on that is some heavy projection going on oh my goodness <laughs> whatever it is they are going for it it's not going to happen they're not able to take it from you because some type of decision has been made within an institution now i don't know if they're deciding to uh balance something out whatever this is they may be sending someone to give you some type of frivolous offer you're going to be receiving some type of six of pentacles it's going to balance life out for you this family is not doing well something did not go in their favor the group may be divided at the moment that like some of them yeah they're divided at the moment because there's clarity in a situation which is bringing this to an end whatever they've been trying to steal block destroy something like that someone has foresight of this situation there's something that's moving forward and because whatever it is is moving forward or you are moving forward is leading to some type of heartbreak for these people you could be a high priestess there could be a high priestess in here that's working with these people against you to temper with your energy they don't want something being looked into they may be blocking a message so that you don't see the truth and then they can come in, do you something. But it looks like they're not able to do this because you have foresight of what these people are choosing to do. This could be a whole institution. This could be the the head of, a, of an institution um, that may be kind of balancing something out. Maybe he has some type of epiphany, some type of realization of a situation, something a family has been doing as well. But I think this high priestess, whoever this is, has been working with people behind the scenes to cause you losses and disappointments and things like that. Because they weren't able to steal or take something from you is why they're out here unhappy. Uh, so it's like they were expecting your six of pentacles or whatever this is to go towards you. I mean, to go towards them. Lord, what is going on? Will you people chill out here with the word magic? Come on, the, the ancestors are over it. The judgment has been made, it's been finalized, and this is why these people are in distress behind the scenes. It's like karmics down, karmics down. Help, help, help. S O S, karmics down. There is something going on though. It's a lot of rituals. It's that people are whoever this family is. 
they are still out here trying to do some type of manipulation, especially in people's energy. And it's not just one high priestess. There's something where people are working with a high priestess, wanting to kind of manipulate how people see something how people receive their downloads because they don't want the truth coming out i received some type of download about a masculine or a family that may have stolen a house and sold it because they couldn't have it and they didn't want you to have it um all of that is going to have to be balanced out they may be out here plotting someone's demise but you know the truth and you know it has some it has someone like in a fender bender is that this person has foresight of what it is with what, what thinking about doing, choosing to do our decisions and things like that. It's hard to manipulate this person because they know we're plotting to end them. So they may be going back to the drawing board, having another meeting. Maybe this is clarity for someone. <laughs> They're going to the drawing board, having another meeting to figure out how it is. They can end you, block you, destroy you, uh, manipulate your energy. There's some type of, uh, yeah, <laughs> want to manipulate your energy, but you're still going to be out here victorious. They want to manipulate your energy so someone can come in and give you some type of superficial love offer. Someone may be starting a real gentle. They want to come in, establish a friendship with you, give you some money, and then it's going to lead to some type of disappointment because they, they're giving you less than what it is that you should be receiving. It's like a group of people have gotten together and stole something or tried to steal something. It's not going according to what they thought it would. So there's a plan now for someone in a family or a couple to now come in and act like they were advocating for you or they are or they are advocating for you. This family also know that someone else may be coming in to give you an offer, to work with you, to balance something out. And it has them really pissed up. There's someone doing some type of mental magic where it's like they don't want people seeing the truth. They don't want people uh, understanding what it is they're seeing in their readings and things like that. And I pick up, picked up on that on the last, like in the past week or so. There's a practitioner out here. This could be a man that's working really hard to manipulate the energy out here for everybody. It's that we don't want you to see the truth. We don't need you to see what it is we're planning. We want you to see some type of we, we want you to be, we want your mental to be clouded so you don't understand what it is we're planning against you, we're plotting against you, but it's not working. There's something about your mental is intact and because you have foresight, you, you are planning or you should be planning practically or logically on how to move forward. There could be a higher fan out here that's plotting something. This could be like an Aries that is plotting something, uh, maybe taking a different direction in life because whatever he invested in, he was hoping to have some type of wish fulfillment with a queen of pentacles. Um, but there's something going on, some type of tower going on in uh, this queen of pentacles life. Maybe someone has some type of court case going on that's going to balance something out and it's going to lead to a group of people going through some type of karma because they cause a lot of illusions about a situation. Uh, these people may be out here confused as heck, maybe even angry and bitter because you're still getting your wishes come through and things like that. Um, someone could be coming in or someone could be wishing to give you some type of solid commitment. Um, and I think what it has to do with also is two people coming together, people not wanting you to have some type of love offer or uh, two, just not wanting two people to come together, but it is going to happen in due time, in divine timing, um, because they weren't able to steal whatever this is. It could be your energy, your gifts, your love story, your partner, your house, your properties, money, whatever it is. They weren't able to steal your finances, whatever this is. It has these people in distress. They're going to have to cut their losses and move on. Um, I keep hearing that they, they plan for so long. Someone is very frustrated because there's something where they plan for a long time to do to someone and it has backfired. It's like if they take you to court for something you don't even have anything to do with, you're going to come out victorious. Um, so I don't even know what this has to do with. I think there's a lot of different reasons going on in here for why these people decided to come after either uh, a, a high priestess or a couple of high priestesses out here and it has to do with their spiritual gifts and things like that uh this couple 
uh, I think they're wondering if you know what it is they've been out here doing, but you know deep down, you know you're you're showing up as a high priestess. You know what's going on, and you already know as well. You as the one in the upright, you will have wish fulfillment. You will have that dream life. You are going to have your family setting, getting married, things like that. And that's what they've been trying to block for you, from you. It's not happening. You're still moving forward in full force. Uh, someone may be moving forward as well in full force to come in, give you some type of offer. Or uh, this is a couple going in to give an offer to a man in high honor or a wealthy man so that he does not give you something. They're hoping that something goes to them or they can manipulate him into not giving you something, possibly trapped him in his mind because there's a whole lot of jealousy, envy, just a lot of hatred going on in here. People may have trapped themselves to some type of contract, like they're bonded. I'm telling you, these people are stuck in something because they were paying someone out here to do something. They may have paid like an emperor. Like an emperor may have accepted some type of bribery behind the scenes, um, trying to now force things to go in his way because it's like his money is on the line. Whatever you're investing in, they're trying to destroy because these people don't want you in the public eye or something of that nature. Again, this person is stuck. Okay, this person is stuck in something. And all of these people, they're trapped in something they cannot get out of. I don't know what to tell them, what to tell you all, but you know you made your bad leg in it. Someone is very jealous at the fact, or someone is, I don't think it's more so jealousy. I think someone's very angry at the fact that you know the truth. The truth is coming out about who you are. And because that truth is coming out, it's leading to an ending. People are not happy. The fact that you are still moving forward in victory, celebrating, still out here healing and recovering and planning for your life and things like that. Um, there could be something out here with a king of cups, maybe paying someone to end you, keep you stuck, keep you blocked so that you don't receive your ace of pentacles. I don't know who this king of cups is. It could be someone from your past, but just know there are a few, not a few people, a lot of people out here, but all of them are under judgment. This whole community are under judgment. Um, the universe wants you to know, or your ancestors want you to know that you will be getting your wish fulfillment, your abundance, what's due to you, your destiny. You will be receiving it in due time. You're someone extremely abundant, and this is going to allow you to take a different path in life. Um, focus on yourself. Become that sage or whatever it is, maybe a shaman, whatever it is you all want to be out here. Whatever you invest in after you take this new path in your life, it is going to lead to wish fulfillment, but it's going to require discipline and you learning some new skills and things like that so that you can move on to calmer waters and live in fulfillment, happiness, being supported by the universe. Some of you are about to be out here connected to your soul tribe. This devil car keeps coming out, so there's some type of warning to someone. Be aware because there is someone out here maybe trying to trap you in something, have you bonded. They don't want you to see the truth, but you keep seeing the truth. These two cars keep coming out, okay? And then it keeps being followed by the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So there's something in here. So a masculine may feel trapped in a situation with a queen of pentacles or a queen of pentacles may feel trapped in a situation with a king of cups um, but the truth is coming out it's like someone is having some type of revelation about what the situation really is how toxic and karmic someone is maybe someone's been out here pretending to be a queen of pentacles in the upright but they're actually a queen of pentacles in the reverse and they've been going up against an actual queen of pentacles in the upright whoever their queen of pentacles is that's headed that's i mean that's in the reverse this is her destiny someone has a lesson to learn and when they come out of this karmic cycle it's going to be a very long one but they will be a better person you on the other hand you're coming out of the cool and stepping into abundance with endless opportunities and options in life right because you're someone very innovative, the universe is always feeding you. And there's something here about your creativity as well that people have been trying to block and that's coming to an end. Whoever has been doing all of these rituals, there's something they don't know and they're confused about it. And they're also living in fear because you're about to be out here very much respected in charge you may be even in control of a situation and it has someone bothered so what they're trying to do is temper with your energy so that you can lose control of a situation so whatever this is honey i will call judgment okay anyone that was involved in the thievery been working overtime to cause you blockages lie they probably need to be gone
gone from a situation, let go. Okay, something needs to be, I'm telling you, clarity. Something needs to be brought to a uh, hut. This toxicity, this is not the place for it anymore. Like there's nowhere, there's no place for this kind of stuff anymore. Uh, I'm pretty sure, th I'm pretty sure this old form of magic where we had to get out here and manipulate, not us, them. I'm speaking from their perspective. I've never had to manipulate to do, to get anything in life. Um, I've always had to rely on my strength and carry on. I don't got time for all of that because how you get stuff is how you lose them okay or how you keep them you get them right you keep them you get them the wrong way you lose them anyways anyone that's been involved in this situation is about to be going through a tower because you're losing everything but i'm telling you you're losing everything 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 you garner off of the backs of other people out of deceit you're losing it and there go the tower again the universe is taking care of stuff here behind the scenes Okay, there's some type of ending or blockage. It's like it's been coming out the scene for a while. They don't want two people meeting. Why these people don't want two people meeting? I don't know. But this family, they already know intuitively because there could be someone gifted that they are working with. Someone very, very powerful they're working with and has been doing a lot of energy work and manipulations. It's not doing anything. We're still getting our downloads out here. She may be even pissed off that her work is not as effective as she thought it would. Someone is gifted, but it's not working. We're still getting our downloads in the spiritual community, so you're wasting your time. Someone may want to take some type of impulsive action, some type of reckless action to come towards either you or... Or the high, the man of high honor. I don't know what that's going to do, but it's going to lead to disappointment for someone, okay? Because whoever you're going towards, they have foresight of everything you all have been doing. Someone may just be quiet, okay? Like he or she thinks, sees things uh, at a glance and they understand immediately. Someone may have sat back and even analyzed the situation and just didn't say anything. So whoever this high priestess is that has been out here working with these people to temper with other people's energies so that they don't see the truth. They don't get their downloads. It ain't working, baby. They want people to be out here confused, uh, conflicted in some type of self-imposed imprisonment, living afraid, feeling like people are coming after them and things like that. Nobody feels like that way. It's almost as though they want you to feel unsafe, like they want to do things in your environment so you feel unsafe and things like that. It's not working. I don't know what the heck this is. It's like they also don't want someone coming towards you so they may be messing with your energy so that when this person comes towards you, when you two meet, you're stuck in your mind, conflicted, not knowing that this person is solid and just like you. I hear a gift to you, you're a gift to them, and they want to have equal gift and take reciprocity with you. So there's some type of energy tempering, okay? Uh, you may have two high priestesses as well. One is in the upper, one is out here working with these people. I don't want to call her a uh, high priestess in the dark, but I mean, if you're working to temper with people's energies, then uh, it is what it is, okay? I'm going to have to be realistic about this situation because, I mean, it's not going accordingly. These high priestesses are still getting their downloads. And this family, they know. There's a couple that knows things are being balanced out. There's some type of action they took behind the scenes to make things go in their favor. It's not going in your favor. Okay. Like there's something where someone was making a decision and they interfere with it to make sure. Yeah, that's what people don't know. Like there's a family that interfere with some type of decision that was being made because they wanted something to go in their favor. It's a tower for the whole family, the institution, and it has them burdened because a king of swords may want to give someone an opportunity. So these people are living in fear because they know they may have to walk away or he's walking away from a queen, queen of cups. They're still out here trying to pretend to be in the upright, but this is someone very devious that's afraid that this chapter is closing and she's losing everything. She was really determined to get this Ten of Pentacles, but she's having done the work to get that Ten of Pentacles. So whoever that Queen of Cups reverse is, is headed right to poverty. Right to poverty. And you, the Queen of Swords, that's in the upright, because I get the feeling like they're 
or people in here or this whole group, organization, family, institution, whatever they want to call themselves, called COVID, they've been working really hard to end, to end your options, but you're the queen of swords. You may be communicating something that's leading to your new beginning. You may end up being in the public eye. You, you are someone very diplomatic. It's what people are finding out. Someone very balanced, very huge, modest. Uh, I don't know what this is, but they're still determined to destroy you, block you, stop you. And it's all out of jealousy and envy because you know, oh, honey, you know, you know, you know. There's something that's coming towards you that your ancestors are protecting, whether it's a new path, new direction, some type of new information. You may have someone out here go into a legal counseling and things like that to get some type of advice on how to proceed with a situation. Yeah, how to proceed with a situation because something is not going like they thought it would. If people are living in fear and anxiety. It's what I'm getting from this read. A lot of confusion, still telling lies and causing all types of illusions and things like that. I don't know what this is. Okay, like you've manifested a new beginning for yourself that's going to... Honey, lady, sir, you better have endless opportunities out here. Like ridiculous opportunities. Man... Like that's, that's what these people have been trying to block. And you standing your ground is the reason, part of the reason why you are having your victory. Like you, you, the high priestess in the upright, you're going to be victorious. Like your victory is already ensured. I don't know what it is these people thought they were doing. It says someone was in denial. Like you're about to be out here. There's someone that's going to be the head of an institution. Like you're about to be like a higher fin, high priestess. Stars, like very powerful temperance energy, very powerful out here. And it has these people shook. When I say shook, it has them shook. What in the world? We have a few major, do we have a few major arcanas out here? Let me review this. We have the temperance. Okay. Lord have mercy. Yeah, we do we? I think we have the temperance and the uh, 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 higher fin. There's a couple of major arcanas out here. It is crazy. Excuse me, I had to stretch my legs. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know what in the world is going on with this, with this nonsense. But the last few weeks, it's just been a lot of energy harvesting or blockage. Someone's doing a lot of projection, a lot of don't say that. That's the wrong thing. Don't say that. No, that's not true. And it's all manipulations. Like they don't want the message coming out. They don't want the message coming out. Thanks. Oh, we have the lover out here too. Yeah, so... So it could be a Gemini in here. We have a Sagittarius in here. We have a Taurus with that Hierophant out here. Lord have mercy. What are these people doing out here? What you doing out here, people? You got to get yourself together. Got to get it together. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.